Hi everyone, happy Friday. It's Stampin' in the Studio Friday. So excited to be here with you on Friday. Very exciting. Let's see. There we are, I see it. It is live on Facebook. So hopefully you can catch some of this sometime today. It is a really crazy 85 degrees already at 9.50. It might even be more. That was just the last time I looked. It's toasty. I wanted to get in here and share a couple of things with you this morning right away. So first things first, I was working today, well actually last night, with this new stamp set called Brood For You. And there's a die set to match. Let me quick grab it here called Brood Dies. Here's a little peek at all of those. Like oh, the beer mug is what I was using. And here's the foam for your beer or root beer, wine. They're all kinds of cool things. So I cut out a couple of the mugs here. I didn't stamp it. I just cut it out to try it out. And I made a birthday card for a friend of ours whose birthday is today. And I thought he would like this. I I love this. This is so funny. Oh, ale, yes. So this was a two-step stamp right here where you can use the color and then the outline of the mug. And then here's the, the foam, or I guess you'd say. And I tried out the wine glass as well, which was very fun. My favorite color for doing wine is cherry cobbler. How about that? And my beer color and beer mug colors, I use Smoky Slate and Daffodil Delight. That seems more beer-like to me. I'm not sure what you think, think about that, but that was really fun. So this paper was designer series paper from the new pack called he's the man and that is it's got a lot of cool two-sided paper and some punch out things to use so i used this one and i just made a few square type shapes to make this and then i have a stamp that was a postage stamp punch so I went ahead and used that. And then my color for my sentiments was Early Espresso. I really like that. It's very nice and rich, rich color. So that was neat. Uh, so I'm going to give that to him today. And I had received an order the other day. So I wanted to share this with you. So let me turn it over here. This is a pack of the Host Designer Series paper. This paper is available if you do a workshop. And it is so pretty. I actually had a little... Uh, it, you don't even have to have a workshop. If your order totals enough, $150, I believe, you get to have host perks. And one of my orders at the beginning of the new catalog happened to total enough so that I was able to get this just so you can see the two-sided amazingness of this. There's a lot in here too. If I can do it. There you go. Hopefully you can see it. Oh my goodness, so much fun. Ooh, that's that's very nice. Look at that. Ooh, that's fun. There isn't a bad one in here. Oh, look at the kites. I like the kites. So the pinwheels, oh, very good paper. Oh, I love the bikes and the little stripes are pretty. This is going to be some good, good paper. Oh, wow. Look at these guys. So the coordinating colors for this pack of designer series paper is Blackberry Bliss, Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaroon, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. Out of all those colors, Pool Party is definitely my favorite. I also love the rich Blackberry Bliss. So beautiful. I love how they give us the coordinating colors right here on our pack of paper so you know what to go ahead and use for your cardstock. That's just so helpful. There's a little sneak peek for you. So we are celebrating our kits and the start of everything new so this is a brand new kit that i just got 
today and it's called a million thanks kit and these are not subscriptions these are you can just buy any old time that you want and they have all the good stuff for you this one is so cute i love the colors we get a stampin spot of evening evergreen which is a good nice bold color and here are our stamps thank you a million thanks seriously grateful all I can say is thanks. And this cute little flower right here for your stamps. You also get a, let me just see. Oh, you get a pile of stuff here. But you get an acrylic block for your stamps. So that's nice. So you really have everything you need to make all these cool cards. All right, let's, let's give it a whirl on Friday stamping in the studio. But here are our directions. And I always save... This piece of cardboard for mailing things. Put that in my pile. Can always use that. Ooh, here's our glue dots. They were stuck to that piece of cardboard. I almost lost those. And we've got some envelopes. I really like to cut up these envelopes and use the beautiful patterns um, as a background and cards and just use plain white to mail in or you could mail these too but it just seems a shame to have that beautiful design on the inside and here are our embellishments and some little the little uh, dimensionals they're the mini ones those are really cute but these are these dimensionals are they're just so tiny and cute but they'll pop up your items give it a bit of dimension and then these are the embellishments little uh, little black things but they are they're sticky on the back so you can just put them on your card and they'll stay right away you don't have to do anything else all right here are our card bases that looks like evening evergreen with a little bit of textured dots on there and here is a punch out and this beautiful color. This is, this is a great kit and some more punch outs. And this one has some greenery. It's, it's raised up just a bit. If you put your finger on there, you can feel it's raised just a bit. And then we have a few more labels and punch outs over here. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I just noticed that is, those are lemons and limes. How cute. Great color scheme here. This is very pretty. All right, let's see what we do first of all. Another thing to quick look at here on the back are your coordinating Stampin' Up! colors. Basic Black, Blushing Bride, Crumb Cake, Evening Evergreen, Mossy Meadow, Pale Papaya, and Pear Pizzazz. Well, those are all really good colors too. Now, should we do... Card number one first. All right, so here's an overview of all the things that we need for card number one. Let's grab those parts out. So we're going to need the lemons and lime and some flowers. And we need the cardstock piece with the greenery on it. If I can grab it. I'm having trouble picking things up. Here we go. There's one of those. Okay, and then we've got our stamp block and our ink, and then a couple glue dots and some embellishments. Okay, so we can go ahead and get started on that. First things first, we're going to stamp our thank you onto, oh, I forgot my label. Let me grab it, not that one. Let's see, let's see. Where are you, label? I'll tell you, it was just right there. There it is. Here are our labels, and there we go. Now, so let's get our acrylic block and our thank you. And these are just photopolymer stamps that you can see through, which I really like. It's awesome. Just peel it off and you can see through them, which I think it's really helpful when you can have a little extra advantage of seeing things. And it tells you where to put the stamp back right there so you don't lose your stamp. 
which is very nice. Okay, let's get our, I already cut this ahead of time. You just take your scissors and cut right there to open your, your ink. And when I get a kit, I like to do a test stamp as the ink's been sitting there for a bit in the box. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Looks pretty good. The ink does well. These darker colors, I don't usually have any trouble. Sometimes the lighter colors, just the ink has kind of settled a bit in the ink pad as it travels. Okay, looks good. Stamp that on our label, cross our fingers. I'm at a strange angle here. Let's see if I can get it within the lines. If it doesn't work, I can always use the back too. Just won't have the line. Oh, that looks good. That's a nice one. Let me just clean that off with my little chamois. Good to do that right away. So the chamois is a handy little tool that I put in an empty stamp case and it is wet. You just wipe it off. It has water on it and I just keep it right here so I can clean my stamps at a moment's notice. You can also get the mist, the stamp cleaner mist spray. This is just very convenient. Okay, I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. All right, we got that done. Now we're going to use dimensionals for the thank you, but I'm gonna let that dry for a moment and let me just gather my, my punch outs here while I'm letting that dry. All right, so we need, I believe we're gonna use dimensionals for all of these, our limes. We got one, two, three, four, and our lemon slices. Okay, and then the glue dots are gonna go on with these little pink flowers. So just put these like this, and looks like there's three of them. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so got that. Now we'll go ahead and we'll start putting all these things down with our little mini dimensionals. Just gonna put those on. They just have us using two so that we can tuck some of the punch outs under the, the banner here, the sentiment banner. Okay. And it's gonna go about right here, I guess. Yay, get some more dimensionals and load up our fruit. Limes, I made homemade salsa the other day and so I, I'm, I am excited about limes, <laughs> adding that to my, my salsa. Okay, there's that. Yeah, we're gonna, kind of go with the picture here and they have things kind of tucked under like this I'll just use their suggestions there's one I'm just taking the backs off with my fingers it's pretty easy today and here is the lemon it's right under that corner and get another lime right next to that one but i'll actually i did the lemon so let me slide that under here and here's another lime just putting my dimensional backs over here in my little pile which is kind of large I need to clean up my stamping area today well that's i can do that while it's very hot I'll stay inside and clean up my stuff. Okay, one under here. And one more on the other side of that lemon wedge. 
course, you could do whatever you want. I'm just going to move that one just a bit. Okay, now we have the little flowers. And those are going to go on with the mini glue dots, which I do like to use my take your pick tool with that. I like to use the pokey edge to lift them up. Sometimes you can just do it with your fingers. I always just find this assists me a little bit better in going a little bit quicker. Okay, and then you just peel off the back of the glue dot, if you can. <laughs> there we go. There's one. One's gonna go here. Those are cute with the fern color. It's really pretty. There's another one. And I wonder if you've made your wish list of new things. And if you need any help, let me know from the new catalog. There are so many cute, cute new things. Okay. There we are. Okay, now we just need to do the little embellishment dots. Let's just peel these off with our take your pick tool. And oh, wow, this is just really cute. All right, one more over here. Nice, and that card is done. Simple as that, very cool. This even has a bit of a glimmer a shine to it on the background. So wow, how about that? Now I've got a nice thank you card done. Set that one aside. All right, card number two. Oh good, it's the heart card. Oh, that's such a, such a pretty card. All right, let's get our... This one's going to use a million thanks. And I'm just going to grab my heart punch out here. It was on the top. Okay. There we go. There's our heart. And then we're going to need the punch out that looks like a candy kind of thing, but it's not. <laughs> it looks like a wrapped piece of candy, but it is a sentiment and greenery item. <laughs> and then I just need to find my banner for this sentiment. It's a little bit longer. And then we're going to put this one on the dark evergreen background okay here it is if I had more space I sure would have this placed out nicer so you could see it here is our card stock okay and then I just need to find my skinny banner punch out well, usually it's in between something if I don't see it right away. Right. Not there. There it is. It's right there in front of me. Okay. So let me just fold that. I'm going to use my burnisher. To just have that lay flat. Okay. One for a good measure. Now, we are going to stamp our sentiment. So first I'm going to put this one away and get out a million thanks. Put this on our sheet so I don't lose it. I'm trying to get after myself to keep everything put away nicely. So then I don't have to go searching. Because sometimes I'll be working on something and then I'll change my mind and then I leave it out. No, don't do that. Put it away. <laughs> All right, here is our sentiment. A million thanks. If you have any trouble with these getting kind of twisted or anything, you can use our silicone craft mat, which I used yesterday. It's a little bit fuzzy. Just set it on there. 
Just kind of let it relax and then put your block down on it and then it won't be bendy. Sometimes it bends. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to ink that up and see how we have luck with that one. It's very pretty. Doo -doo -doo. Looks good. Very good color. Now let's see if I can get lucky on this banner and have it in the center. Okay. Nice. Okay, that looks really good. Clean that off. My chamois again real quick. All right. Hey, hey. Looks good. Let that dry for a moment. There we are. Now we'll get out our bonbon thing. <laughs> and going to use glue dots on this. Okay, looks like we have two in the center of the big circle area and three glue dots on each side. So go ahead and put that down. And right here-ish. And one more on this one. Okay, other side. Okay, one. One more, maybe here. Don't want them to catch the branches and rip it if someone takes it out of the envelope. Okay, peel off those backs. There's one, two, Three. And so the next, so Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is the mailing kit subscription items that you, sub you subscribe to and receive a fun box like this every month. But this one is a kit that is available for purchase whenever you want. Uh, the, but anyway, the paper pumpkin kit that should be arriving soon for May has a golden ticket in some of them. So there's a chance for uh, some lucky people to win some free stamping stuff. So I'm so excited to get mine. I hope it's in there. That would be so thrilling. All right. And that kit features our new in colors for our new catalog, which if you recall from my last live, let me grab them here. Let's see, I have them um, mostly sitting here. I've been using them and it seems to be I use the same ones more than a couple of the others. Here are the five new in colors. And I do have a, these three I've been using quite a lot. I, I gotta get into Sweet Sorbet. It's beautiful. I just tend to do those other tones of colors first. Okay, here comes our heart. We'll put on, oh, I also just got my tumbler. I'll unpack that once we're done with our cards so you can see it. It is in the Tahitian Tide color. It's very funny when I'm out shopping now that I've been with Stampin' Up! for a while, I'll look at colors and I'll call them by the Stampin' Up! colors um, at stores. <laughs> so, yes, pool party. I always look for items that are pool party color. Love that color. It's beautiful. All right, let's put this on. All right, looks like about right there or so. Looks good. Now, what do we need next? We need some dimensionals and some flowers. Looks like 
here is a sheet of flowers. So we're just going to match what we see on here with some of the, we're gonna give this some dimension, I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, so two of these, and then it looks like three of this one. And these are all going to go on pictures. Okay. More dimensionals. This is kind of fun. You don't have to do all of them. You could leave some, some uh, not 3D. That would be interesting too. All right. Here is the tricky part, I think, is matching them in the direction that they go. Here's one. Okay, be a yellow one next. Super cute. All right. Turn it so. Okay. This one here. All right, is that about right? That's fun. Get the little yellow one now. These colors look so good against evening evergreen. So pretty. Oops, it's a little tricky. <laughs> there you go. So if you are looking forward to summertime, I think that these kits that are not paper pumpkin are super fun uh, to, if you have some friends you want to get together and do hang out together and make something really quick, each get a kit and work together on a nice summer day. Or if you have some kids that like little crafty quick projects, grab a couple of kits for them too. There's some super fun ones. There's the robot set. Um, there's just all kinds of neat ones that you can try and everything's in the box like this. This is very fun, easy peasy, and they look great. There we go. Yeah, that neat. You got a little dimension to that. Okay, now we have a couple of the dots, the black, black dots we'll put on there. Let's see. We have one on one of the flowers. Looks like this one. And the other one is on the pink, pink flower. Alrighty, that looks good. And then we put on our, our little sentiment. And do they say what they want us to use for those? I don't know that they do. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'll use. I have to be careful that it will match. You know, those might not be dimensional or dots. They might be glue dots. My bad. Let me pop those off. That's what they're telling me. Let me pop them off and I'm going to actually drop them down here and they want me to put glue dots there so that the sentiment will stick on our little buds. Okay, let's hope those are still sticky. Alrighty, so here we go, here we go. No big deal, right? Okay, one here and one kind of right next to it to hold our sentiment. Okay. All right. Let's put our million things right there. Alrighty, nice. How about that? Isn't that cool? Oh my gosh, I love that card. 
All right, card number three. Ooh, this one's neat too with the, I love the card stock. Okay, let me grab it here. This one's got a cool bit of shimmer to the squares. I'll burnish that. Alrighty, now we're going to use our sentiment. Seriously grateful for you, a little bit larger one. Take off our, I think some million and put that back. Okay, and this one is here. Always need thank you cards, so this is great. Ooh, I actually have to send one to my mother-in-law, so haha. -ha. I will send which one should I send her? Mmm. She sent me the cutest knit gnome for Mother's Day. So adorable. So I need to send her a thank you. Hmm. Maybe I'll send her, I don't know. I really like this one. But this one is so cool. All right, now we're going to stamp. I mean, I guess I could just put thank you, but hmm. Oh, yeah, I can make another. I can always make more because you have multiples in your kit. Okay, but yep, I'm just picturing a nice afternoon with friends. <laughs> I'm making some cool cards together. No need to bring anything, just bring your box. That's pretty neat. All right, looks like right about there. Looks about right. You could go to the park and just bring your box. Nice. Looks good. Clean that off. Oh, got some on my hand. Got some on my thumb. <laughs> Goodness, what? Okay, nice. All right, we got that. Now we need the little black ribbon thing. Punch out. And they have that put down with glue dots. Okay, so let's see. Some dots. It's like four of them. Okay. Gosh, I think the grass is growing before my eyes. Looks huge. I think I've already mowed it like twice now. But once it finally started to get warm, boy, it just kept going. Took a while though. Okay, and I am gonna go to the flower store after this and get the rest of my flowers for our baskets and things so i think it's finally okay i hope and we started planting our garden too i'm planting a salsa garden because yep all about salsa lately so i'm going to have all the fixings for that mostly <laughs> and <laughs> That's going to be fun. I'm also going to try to grow some cabbage this year to make my husband sauerkraut. Very excited about that. His mom usually makes it for him, uh, but she's had kind of a couple of rough growing years. And so we don't have any canned sauerkraut. We had to actually buy it at the store for the first time in the ages. So... I'm going to try it myself. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Also right now, we so we just moved to our house in the fall. So we don't know what things are going to be popping up growing wise. And we have asparagus going crazy. It is just unreal. It's already huge. Okay. There's that. And rhubarb. My rhubarb thing is, it's a monster. It's so big. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do, make a rhubarb pie. We'll see. Well, this one's going together very quickly. This one was probably the easiest one. 
it's very pretty. All right, one more there. All right, how about that? That is our last card, I think. Is it just the three? Yes. Okay, so I have joined a group in, on Facebook that they make alternate cards for these, so that's really fun to do. So this will make you nine cards all together. And you'll just, the time spent doing it, priceless. <laughs> Let's grab them all here. Let me put my parts back in my box so I can do some more. Here they are. Thanks a million card kit. Very, very cute. And I think I'm gonna send my mother-in-law this one. I just decided. Let me grab my new mug to show you. Here it is, just arrived yesterday. I haven't even taken it out. It's a tumbler. I got the Tahitian Tide Glitter Tumbler. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh my. Looky, looky. Isn't it great? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if I can take the top off. See how, oh, look at that. That is very nice. All right, so I'll wash that up and then get to, get to using that. Let you know how I like it. But you can get them in any of these five colors that we have, the new colors. Oh, there we are. So, yep, I went for that one. I, I almost went for Orchid Oasis. I really like that too, but this is pretty a little bit of gradient. This actually matches some paper I have. Let me grab it. Let's see. This is called the Glimmer Paper for the five new in colors. And looky, looky, look at this. It matches perfectly. It's kind of ombre. Perfect. Oh, I love it. So that's so much fun. I love it when they come out with new things like that. Oops. Okay. Set that aside. Now, ooh, I also received a couple of the Stampin' Blends. A couple new colors for me. Oh, I got Pool Party and... I have, doo -doo -doo. I want to say Highland Heather, is that right? No, Fresh Freesia. So these are awesome blending markers that have a special makeup inside of them to, you have a light and a dark, but you're able to blend colors. And it's fun to do, I'm going to use the darker one first. If you like to color black and white things, you get the darker color and it smells kind of good too. And then you get the lighter color and you can use the lighter one and it just takes the color and blends it out. So you can provide shading to some of your stuff. It's lovely, it's so much fun. So you should give those a try if you haven't. It really is very cool. Um, reminds me of the black and white paper that we have right now that is called Perfectly Penciled. And you can color all of these with whatever you want. You can also use regular markers. Find them. They are. These are the five new colors and they're Stampin' Right markers. So these, these blend, and these are regular markers. These you can also use on your stamps. On the orange ones, they work the best. The orange back stamps. Um, like, grab one here. Oh yes, like the Father's Day. All you have to do is use your markers and color on this, and then you, you breathe on it. You go, you huff, you go onto the ink, and then you stamp it and then you can get multiple colors on one stamp. So that's very fun to do. Very, very fun. Okay, and I think, I think we're done for right now, 
but I sure wonder what you have on your wish list from our new catalog. If there are some items that you're just itching to get, I am going to be getting this cherry set soon. I just got the little songbird set not long ago, and I made a birthday card for a little friend of mine. Here it is. Here's the songbird. That is so, so cute. You get a punch. Here's our punch right here, and you get the stamp set. So that's a really fun, fun bundle. I really have been looking at this one with this little cat because I have a grand cat now, and I just love it. Look at that little cat. So let me know, what, what are your favorites? What's on your wish list? Okay, I think that's it for me for Friday, Stampin' in the Studio. I hope you like this kit. A million thanks and all the new things so have a great weekend and I'll catch you later bye bye